Hi, Kevin with Train a Tree, and this is something that's brand new for me, and that is cherry trees. I am in Southern California. It's January 2012, and and um, I never thought I would be able to have cherries in my particular area, but there are a couple of low chill cherries available now, and this particular variety that I purchased are Dave Wilson. Uh, Royal Lee and Mini Royal, and you need both of them because they need to cross pollinate. And what I'm going to do with these, when I purchased these trees, they came up and they had three, three big long branches, whips on them, weak as can be. But remember what they do, <clears throat> they all come together, all three of those branches come together in one, on, on the main trunk in one section so what i've done here is i'm going to grow these trees out as foliar so i these have been in the ground now for about three two to three weeks three weeks now and you can see that because i made the cut it is flushing out all this growth you can see all these little buds and uh, this new growth coming out of it. And I see a bud that's gonna be here. So this, either this one or this one is gonna be my new central leader coming up. Remember what I was telling you in other trees that, I mean, in other videos is that if you, um, if you grow, if you want large trees, then grow them out as a vase or an open center or a Y or whatever type of of uh, tree training setup you want to do, but think about what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Think about your space. You don't have to grow a tree that's 360 degrees. You can grow them that are 180 degrees. You can grow them as foliar. You can grow, you just have to manage that tree and set it up properly. I often say training is really even more important than pruning. Pruning is secondary to training. Because if you train them properly from the beginning, then pruning is a cinch. So what I'm going to be doing, growing up a new central, growing these across, and this will be an espalier cherry. I am so thrilled. I cannot wait to get these trees. But they're doing exactly what I was hoping for. This one will grow this way. This one's gonna grow this way, and this one in the back, he's gonna come up and he'll be my new central leader. When he gets up about so tall, I'll pinch it off again. It'll flush out some growth and I'll pick an, the next row. I pick a new central leader, I'll pinch it off at the top again. It'll flush out some new uh, branching and I'll pick another one that's gonna go across this way. So I will espalier these cherries and I will keep you updated to their progress. Have a great day.